topsy-turvy, sunny, but then suddenly really cold. Yeah, that's spring really, isn't it, in the UK? <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. It's in one minute, sunny <laughs> the next. Thank you, Victoria. Hello. Yes, we have seen quite a bit of snow across the region. Snow showers locally reported in Cornwall, Devon and also in Somerset. This was earlier on this afternoon, a fairly hefty snow shower. This time of year, the sun is quite strong, so it doesn't always settle for very long. These sheep possibly not too impressed with the weather at the moment. So one animal who was a bit more excited about it was Pascal the cat. His first ever snow apparently in East Devon earlier on this morning. I think he quite liked it. He seemed quite intrigued. Uh, the snow was quite localised though. It wasn't everywhere. We did also see some decent sunshine throughout the day as well. And uh, Widdicombe in the moor had some decent sunshine earlier on today. Looking a bit more like the spring day you might expect for this time of year. It was quite windy though and this cold northerly wind is bringing very dry air down from the Arctic and that's what's making it feel extra cold out and about today so it's easy perhaps to be a bit misled by the spring sunshine at the moment. It's raining cold for the rest of the week. You could even say it's freezing out there for these cows. They don't look too impressed either do they? Shall I move on? Yes I will. I'll talk about the weather for the rest of this week instead. It is looking mostly dry for us. We will see some sunshine. Still quite cold at times and especially overnight is something to take note of with some temperatures below freezing. But still a speckled uh, gathering of some shower clouds across the UK for this evening and tonight. We'll still produce a few snow showers locally. You can see where that air has come from right down from the Arctic. That's why it's been so cold. As we move into the middle part of the week through Wednesday, this high pressure does build in from the west. So we'll get some slightly less cold air coming in from the middle part of the week. And that continues into Thursday as well. Much more settled, much less windy as well for us too with some decent spells of sunshine. And it does remain generally dry throughout much of the week ahead. So we have got, I think, some mild air to come for a time. But as we go towards the end of the week, some cold air pushes down from the north once again. And it could turn quite chilly with, again, some chilly nights for the weekend. Back to this evening and tonight, though. Still a scattering of showers. Could still be a wintry mix with some rain, sleet and snow. They could become confined to the far west by the end of the night with some clear skies across Devon and into Somerset. We could see temperatures as low as minus three or minus four. So gardeners and farmers particularly take note of these cold temperatures. Tomorrow, though, any remaining showers in the far west should clear away. We'll see some sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. It should be mostly dry and these winds will turn a little bit lighter and more northwesterly as well. Temperatures Temperatures between 7 and 9 degrees tomorrow afternoon. For the hours of Silly tomorrow, quite a bit of cloud, but a mostly dry day and it will feel a bit less breezy here as well. Times of high water for tomorrow at Plymouth at 15.47 and at Biddeford 16.02. Not much surf really, quite small waves and quite messy conditions as well. Out at sea then, the winds are mainly from the northwest at 4, 2 to 4, becoming variable 3 or less later. It showers at first then fair and mostly good visibility as well. So we have got some dry weather to come in the forecast, particularly through Wednesday and Thursday with things getting a bit milder as well. Lighter winds, fairly pleasant day. Some thicker cloud with us on Friday could bring some patchy rain and drizzle. Some uncertainty around the weekend at the moment. We could see a few showers, but it does look like it's turning a bit colder once again. Yeah, it's certainly cold. That's <laughs> Thank you, Emily.